what is going on i'm back at you with another video sheesh is it shout out to sheesh is it if y'all ain't already subscribed to him go subscribe i saw this video i saw that tiktok and i was like yep i gotta react to it this is a three-part tiktok so let's get into it beautiful woman begs man to propose to her miss thompson and mr williams miss thompson you say you're here in court today to give Mr. Williams an ultimatum. You say you've given him five years of your life, and now it's time for him to make a decision. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Williams, Look you say Ms. Thompson looks. treats you like an outsider and a child. You say she is bringing more drama than peace into your life, and in order for you to even consider marriage, she's the one that needs to make some changes. If she's doing all that, then you don't marry her. Why? Why even go through all of this? Maybe y'all want to do this for attention, a clout or something? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, well, Ms. Thompson, how'd we get here today? Your Honor, we have been together for five years. We are already 10 years apart, so my baby-making years have expired. He plays games. He says he wants to have a baby and have a family. In the beginning of the relationship, that's all we talked about, is we're going to have a baby, we're going to have a relationship. Orval knows that I already had children, my children are grown, and I was a single mother all that time. So he knows that I want to be married before we have a baby. So he says he wants a baby, but every time we go to have sex, he wants to either use protection or he changes the subject. Okay, well, if he uses protection, he very clearly is not trying to have a baby. So, Mr. Williams, tag, you're it. I love my girlfriend. We've been together for five years, and I've invested so much in this relationship. When we first met each other, it was, it was a really just instant connection, instant physical attraction. There was a lot of passion, a lot of lust. Um, she's she looked good. Beautiful, she's absolutely yeah, she's beautiful. She's absolutely gorgeous. Look at her. She loves you. I love her so much, all of that, but I'm having second thoughts because over time I've been seeing like her behavior and her personality traits are coming out. So you all have been together, as I said, for five years. You've actually been living together for three years. I would imagine that after those first two years, that's when you started talking about whether or not this is permanent. Is this going to be long-term? Are we moving to the next level? Ms. Thompson? Your Honor, we had started talking about that initially in the beginning of the relationship. So you were so very in, clear in year that number you wanted one. a relationship. You were not interested in one of these hit it and quit it kind of situations. No, Your Honor. And today he has two options, either marry me or reimburse me. That's it. Reimburse? But, look, look, cook. Ain't no doggone way. Is this the next level in this country? Reimbursing these girls if you don't do what they want you to do? So, Ms. Thompson no is way, not playing with you right now, Ms. Mr. Williams. No way you took that man to court. And, you, hey, dude, you a dummy if you married this girl after she took you to court for trying to be reimbursed. You stupid. You stupid nigga. Your Honor, I have every intention on marrying her, but... You a dummy. I'm going to do it on my time. Fair enough. Yeah, you a dummy. Let's find out what has been happening over these last five years. Ms. He's been Thompson. misleading me. He's been misleading me. We went to a ring store. Let's talk about the ring store, Orval. We went to a it. ring store. We're in the ring store. While in there, he asked me to pick out a ring that I love. And he has the clerk put the ring to the side. The ring's only $3,000. He tells her he's going to propose to me very soon. And he has her put it to the side because he wants to make a payment plan. And when was this? A year and a half ago. Ooh, Still no you... ring. Still no ring. So he's playing games. No, he's seeing stuff in you that he hasn't seen before. So now he's getting um, getting second thoughts. So now he's putting it off thinking, hmm, is this going to be a problem? Let's just wait down the line and let's just see what happens if this occurs again, how she reacts. Because that was a yellow flag right there and I've never seen that before. So something had to happen in that year and a half. So Mr. Williams, when you all are in the ring store, clearly you were feeling it. Yes. What has happened between then and now? She's making me feel like an outsider. She hasn't opened up to me as far as her family. She's been to all of my family gatherings. She's been to Christmases. She's been to Thanksgiving. She's been to all the cookouts. But when it comes time to be around her family, she really is trying to separate me for that. For example, she has three adult children. I've only met one of them. Her daughter called and it's like when she calls her and talks to her, she doesn't want me to 
be included in the conversation. Because She'll it's her step private aside. conversation, Orval. She it's her private conversation. She's a Hell to the no. Um, if this little girl gonna be in my house, I need to know what y'all talking about. You haven't met none of the family? Have you met the baby daddy? This this don't sound like a good idea, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Stop no, but she's trying to keep me away. She's trying to keep me away from her. Please, one at a time. She's trying to keep me away from her children, Your Honor. So her daughter was actually coming in town. I was very excited to get to meet, you know, her children because I'm really trying to get to know her in, in in that type of way. So when it's time for her daughter to come, she's like, "Oh, I don't think this is a good time." And as a matter of fact, I think you should go stay with somebody else. Actually, I asked you to stay on the couch because I didn't want her to see a shack. Why do up. I have to stay on the couch if I'm paying bills in my own you house? Said, no, you didn't Bats. have to leave the house. In your house, you sleep on the couch. <laughs> nah, you tell it. You tell her to sleep on the dog on couch. So I had to leave you my own house where I pay bills and stay with a friend for four days. You did not have to leave though. You could have just slept on the couch. Wait a minute. I just want to be real clear about this. How old is your daughter? She's 20. Damn, she look good. How old Does she this? know that you are with this man? Yes, Your Honor. Y'all are living together, and you have an adult daughter at 20, and you said you have two other adult children. Yes, Your Honor. Unless I miss my guess, they all know that you sleep with this man. It's one thing to know it, Your Honor, but another thing for them to see it. So for me, what? I'm trying to protect my daughter. For, protect your daughter from what? Oh, you think, ooh, I want to know how good your daughter look because you look, you look great for whatever age you are. You must be in the 40s, mid 40s. It, your daughter must be a bad one. Whoo, your daughter must be fire, boy. That's why she don't want you to see her. Mm-hmm. Are you ashamed of the relationship? I'm not ashamed of the relationship. She ain't I'm say ashamed it. of how he manipulates me and oh plays games. My God, like, got her. For example, I still, I'm, I'm, you know, Miss Thompson, because you're the plaintiff, I have to ask you just some probing questions about what would make you not want your adult children to know about the extent. Ah. The lack of a ring. <laughs> so you say, I'm not bringing uh, ain't my no way. family into our relationship until I know it's a solid until relationship. Until I know it's serious, yes, okay. Your Honor. Your but he brought yo he brought his family into your life. Your Honor, if I didn't look at her like this is my wife, why am I bringing her around my family? Ooh. But see, Again. now you may, now I will tell you this. You cannot expect people who were not raised like you to react like you. For her family, she may say they don't want to meet Lottie Dottie and everybody. Some sound like your mom and daddy sound a little bit I, like I mine. Understand. My, my nana husband. said, why what buy the cow if you can get the milk for free? Well, I'm already giving him the milk for free. He needs to step milk? up. If I'm marrying you, I'm marrying your family. We but you're not, you, but point. you have not gave me a ring family. yet, Orval. Where's the ring? Anxiety. Yeah, this is a good one right here, boy. Woo! I ain't gonna hold you. Dog, this was six minutes too? How, how long did he cut this? He cut it down to eight minutes. Yeah, this one ain't gonna be cut down this minute. Y'all gonna sit here and watch the whole thing. So shut up. What's the real reason that you have not brought Mr. Uh, Williams into your family situation? Because they look at me like a joke. Mm. They look at me like a joke because they feel like he's using me. Mm -hmm. For example, he had has a way of manipulating me into feeling like I have to do something for him. Explain to me what you're she's saying. A, she's he a, had just one minute. I'm a what? She's extremely petty. I'm a what? And she's extremely No, first petty. of all, I'm talking. You so talk, let me talk. You talk, let me talk, or Val. One me. at a time, please. I'm going to just ask Ms. Thompson to explain what she's saying. And Ms. Williams, trust me, you'll have an opportunity to respond. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Or Val decided he wanted to have a birthday party. His birthday is in April. Mm -hmm. For the birthday party, he asked me to borrow money to help him have the birthday party. Okay. He just wanted $1,000 for the party. And next thing I know, $2,800 later, I have paid for the entire party, including designer shoes and a belt that he wanted specifically. So I Ooh. went ahead and agreed to that. A couple days later, when I asked him about the money and returning the money, it turns into a huge argument. I never get my funds back. And I just ended up letting it go because I did not want the headache of arguing. So Mr. Williams, did you or did you not go to Ms. Thompson and ask for $1,000 to help plan your birthday party? Yes or no? 
Yes, because in our relationship, when it's her birthday or when, when it's time when for it was me my to get birthday her nails or about, anything, just one second. I never with her. I don't loan her money. You know what I'm saying? Anything I do for her, it's hers. But when there's a contractual relationship, there needs to be a quote meeting of the minds. Y'all know what that means? That means that your mind needs to be met with her mind, so everybody know what they're talking about. Yeah, that's your fault, bro. You did say uh, you was gonna pay it back to it. Now you can't say you was gonna pay it back, and I mean, <sighs> we're gonna skip ahead. We're gonna go to part three. You are being a doormat. I'm letting you know. I'm looking you in the face because you brought this case here. But it's been no, five no. years. I it's been lose five, the whole five years. years. Is you're not losing the whole five oh, years. Yeah. You're gaining the next five years. You are gaining the but next But I want to have them with him. You, I want to have the five years with him. I don't want to start all over again. That's too much. Right, now, right. It's too much. And you know what? Right what? You agree? Yes, I want to be with you, but... Then you know what? No, you know what? All right, you either marry me or you reimburse me. It's that simple. I have the ring already. All you got to do is get on your knees and propose. Your Honor, she is not going to rob I'm me of my gonna... manhood That's and another the issue. man that I'm going to do it that way. I'm going to get a ring. I'm going to propose Here, to her when the time is right. Take this one. I have not, I have not even take got to one. build a relationship with her family. But In case have... no one else has figured this out. It's clear that he does not want to do this. Uh, uh, yeah, hold on. Let me see. He seems a little zesty to me. Of course. Of course, they all turned to he's gay. Of course. She brought her own. She Oh, she bought her own ring. Her parents never told her no. I want to feel bad, but girl. No, hold on. Let's go back to wow. He seems a little zesty. Where the, oh, there it is. He seems a little zesty. Here y'all go. Yep, see? So can't tell when a man is on the DL. It's the voice. Bro, his voice do not sound like he on the DL down low. Or maybe just, or maybe, just maybe, not every man acts or talks the same. There you go. Let's continue. Y'all are not compatible. You are living in time. a fantasy world, baby. <laughs> in a fantasy world. <laughs> your honor, this is, is not your husband. Your honor, I so he much time is that your it's boyfriend. It's not fair. It's not fair. It may not be fair, but it's true. <laughs> baby, he or is now, not please. your husband. Please. Just. And you are not going to sit here on this room with me and cry over somebody that does not deserve your tears. Absolutely not. Are you saying you don't want me? I do want, I do want to marry you. Your, your Honor, Your Honor, I have, one, I have one more thing to say, and I did not want to bring this up. But I went through her phone. Don't they all? Yeah. And I saw her having a conversation with somebody, and I find out she's been lying to me and she has her tubes tied. Huh. Oh. Woo. I swear, bro, women are the best actresses in the y'all deserve a golden globe. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Every year. And I mean every single year. Cuz this is See, in anime, you have F, D, C, B. That, that's the grading level, right? F, no, E, F, uh, D, C, B, A, and S ranked. This is S ranked acting right here. This girl, listen, this girl has a talent. She convinced me that he was the problem for a quick second. And I was like, hmm, maybe he is doing something that somebody ain't saying. Maybe he, just maybe. But wow, he went through the phone and wow. Man, some of y'all are not in the right profession, man. I'm telling you, this girl is good. She looks good. She got the look. She got the tears. Man, it, it ain't easy to make your tears fall down your face when you're faking it. That's crazy. That girl got a superpower. That girl has a monster inside of her. That girl is a super saiyan. She is good. You know that's not true. You know 
that you, you know I wanted to have a baby with you. You know I want to marry you, but you've been lying to me. You've been leading me on this entire time. I was going to tell you about. Time. I was yes, they are. I was going to tell you, but they can be reversed. It's ten thousand okay. dollars. I already have the doctor on speed okay. dial. What's up? What's up? I have the doctor on speed dial. He can reverse those. He can reverse that. That's easy. So, Miss Thompson, to be honest wow. with you, wow, you had you didn't say that throughout the. You didn't say that throughout. She wouldn't even brought it up. If he hadn't said that, she wouldn't even brought it up. You've been saying you wanted to have a baby, and he found out X amount of months. Ago, how long? How long had did you have that procedure? How long ago? Twenty years ago. How many? Oh my, oh my God! We're about it's reversible. Oh my God! Oh, oh! This is embarrassing, sir. No, you were grown. There man. was what? a moment. He a grown? What? You got that man on TV. Ain't no what, y'all. What is going on? You got this man on TV. One red flag number one. You gave him an ultimatum: marry me or repay me for everything. Two. That's red flag number two. For me, at least, you only get two red flags and you're out. You got your tube ties. You lied. So what else you lying about? You got a nigga on the side too. That. I only thought that you were the user in this room. I was wrong. You kind of both deserve each other because I have never seen the most dysfunctional people that you've been manipulated financially. Now I've heard about the birthday party. Mm -hmm. Was yes, there anything else in particular? Yes, Your Honor. Orville had been walking around the house for weeks. Oh, she His 43. mouth was hurting him bad. He asked me to find him a dentist, which I did. And suddenly, I'm paying the dental bill, $800. He left his wallet at home, doesn't have insurance, and I felt manipulated. You knew before you left the house that you didn't have your wallet. You knew that you did not have no, medical insurance. Why would you not tell me this no, ahead of time? We're supposed to be a team. Mr. Right, Williams, she got that money back. did you know you didn't have health insurance? No, Your Honor. So you thought you had health yes, insurance? Yes, Your Honor. I have to tell you something. From my perspective, there's only a couple things that I can make sure I keep up with. And that health insurance happens to be one, okay? Yes, Your Honor. I right, think his right. mouth was hurting so bad that he just really wanted to manipulate and get it done however he oh could. My God. That's not the what only is... time you use me, no, or Val. How about all the times that I'm paid for you? When? Like for instance, we went on. We it was another restaurant day. Had it planned. Reservations at six o'clock. That wasn't even about me. Shafana is always late. I have to pay, put down a partial payment just to secure the reservation. We get there, we're late. They took they took our table away, so we couldn't we couldn't even do that. So that was another time that I have been pouring money into you and waste. It must have been an expensive restaurant for him to bring something like that up, or he could just be manip manipulating the situation. Send the money. Pouring change into me. Change and change. she and this is another thing. She she does stuff like that. She always it's no always secret. Little. It's no secret she's the breadwinner in this relationship, Your Honor. But she always throws that in my face. No, that's your turn. She always throws that in my face. That is she your makes term. me. She's the breadwinner. She's the bread. I don't want to be the She always throws that in my face. For an, an, another time, I was buying a car. I didn't have enough money for the down payment. At the time, we were sharing cars. I needed a car. She like I'm gonna give you the money. I'm back in the corner. I need a car. Sure enough, we get into an argument because she wanted me to go get something. I didn't have enough time to go get it. So then she, so then she, so then she was like, "Oh, you wouldn't even have a car if I didn't give you the money." Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that sounds like a woman right there, boy. It was true. So she's constantly making me feel like I'm a child and making me feel less of a man when I'm me, giving her my you Excuse me, Your Honor. You, you did manipulate that situation. Let's go right back to what she was saying, though. You are a manipulator, aren't you? Yeah, boy. You you, you kind of good, too. Excuse me, Miss Thompson. Yes, sir. Nobody can make you feel like a child unless you act like a child. Uh, yeah. And a grown-ass mm -hmm. man is supposed to be taking care of his own bills. I'm 34 years old. No call? Sorry. I apologize. I, it sounds biased. But you looking at a sister right here that takes care of herself. You don't need to be on anybody's national television telling 
the world that your woman is the breadwinner. Like you t yes. say it with some pride. No, y'all supposed to be doing this together. And that's how he set up the relationship. Had me thinking that that's how, what he wanted from me and that's what he wanted. That's so what now, I've been striving to do. I've been keeping this um, list. And Robert, you know exactly where I'm going. Oh yeah. I, th I think it's time for me to review the star signs. Get ready. The star signs that you dating a user. They always let you pick up the check. You always have to come to their rescue. Y'all girls need to uh y'all girls need to screenshot this. Yeah, you, yeah, you can tell he, he user and he manip just like he manipulated that situation, got her got them all off topic right there. Yeah. Yeah, he's he, he's a manipulator and, and and he's uh he's pretty decent at it too. He's pretty good. A partner supports one another and does not throw it in others' face. He he he's a manipulator too. She's she manipulates and he manipulates as well. Moral of the story. If y'all want to get married, yo, just just write up in a, a personal contract, an individual contract. Stop going through the court system. Peace.